Hello, um, good evening, sir. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you, sir? Just arriving, <coughs> sorry, just arriving home. Just arriving home, oh. Yes. You were so late, sir. Or yeah. you live so far from, from the place you work? No, actually, I was, I was playing basketball with, when, with my brother. <laughs> oh, sorry? I was playing basketball with my brother. Ah, do you play basketball? Yeah, yes. It's yeah, that's my favorite game too. I actually, to actually, it's not my favorite, but uh, there's a, a a court near. Oh yeah, yes. I, I used to play with my my coworkers in in a university I was working. Uh, so after classes, uh, we around five p.m. and so on. So we play basketball there. That's not, that's a, I think that's one of the, um, the sport that uh, where you have a lot of movements and, and you work out all your uh, muscles and, and I think that's the, the most complete sport, but uh, I don't know what you think about it. Actually, I love sports. I love sports. I you love sports? Do you play, yes. any, other, do you, do you play any other one? When I was a thing, I used to play for Luis and Jesus. Um, oh, really? and also I play baseball, uh, volleyball. I used oh, to go so. roller skating and oh. running too. Okay, so that's when you play a lot of sports. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, I love sport. I love to exercise too. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, sir. Uh, we're going to start because you are the only one who has your introduced video company. I will send a message to the rest of the the group. Let's see what's happening. Because uh, suppose today is, I mean, tonight is the the last uh, video conference. Just let me write them. Give me a Okay, guys, I'm um, sorry. Uh, well, welcome to this video conference. Welcome, Mr. Uh, Mendoza, Ms. Uh, Gomez, and Mr. Hernandez. Uh, tonight, we're going to be working on the last um, video conference. So that's mean that we're going to be uh, discussing and reviewing some things about the final test. 
that is the last things that we have to do um, here in this uh, course. So I'm going to show you um, the final test you go, and we are going to be discussing a uh, exercise uh, for exercise and, and checking all the information that we have there. In the case of um, the first exercise, just let me show you. Just let me show you the. My screen, I mean. Um, can you see my screen? Can you just confirm it? Confirm me if you can see it. Yes, okay. sir. Yes. Okay. So uh, there we have an exercise, the, the exercise eight, that is about listening per want. Uh, the instruction says, listen to conversations between two to tourists, uh, then check true or false. So we're, what, what we're going to be working on this is just listening the, um, the, the, the audio and then we're going to be discussing the information and checking the information here if it is true or false. So I will ask you to pay attention to this and then uh, we're gonna be working on it. So pay careful attention because I'm going to ask some questions about it. Listen to a conversation between two tourists, Kathy and Tomas, then check true or false. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm from Toronto. Where are you from? Buenos Aires. Nice to meet you, Kathy. I'm Tomas. Nice to meet you, too. How long have you been traveling in Chile? About three weeks now. What about you? I just arrived two days ago. I'm staying for a month. Good. Then you'll get to see a lot of the country. Yeah, I'm planning to travel from Santiago down to Patagonia. Oh, Patagonia is great. And it's the perfect time of year to hike there. It's not too cold? Not at all. Despite what some people think, Patagonia has a pretty mild climate. And it's summertime now. January and February are the months when most people visit. So there are a lot of tourists down there right now? Not really. Patagonia is far from everything. Usually only serious hikers go there. I've heard one of the best parks for hiking is Torre del Paine. Yeah, it's fantastic. And it has some of the most beautiful views in Chile. Nice. When were you there? I was there last week, but I go every year. Next summer, I'm actually going to volunteer in the park. Seriously? Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, guys. Uh, well, the first question is for you. Just gonna you can answer me. So, whatever it doesn't matter who can ask who answer me in these questions. Uh, so the first one is, um, what are they? What are they? They are um, well, uh, teachers. They are doctors. They are um, nurses. Tourist. So, travelers. Tourist. Travelers? Yeah. Okay, very good. That's a good term for, for them. Travelers. Okay, very good. So, um, in this case, in the conversation, uh, we are going to be answering to, uh, to these uh, statements. The first one says, Tomas arrived in Chile yesterday. Tomas arrived in Chile yesterday. Uh, is it true or false? It's false. It's false. Okay, wanna put it false. The second one, Kathy is going to travel in Chile for a month. True or false? True. It's true. It's true. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, no one visits Patagonia in January or February. Is it true or false? False. It's false. Okay, let's see. Tomas goes to Torre del Paine in National Park every three years. True or false? False. Is it false? Okay, very good. 
Then we have the second part. It says, listen to a conversation between two friends. Then shade the phrases that best completes each sentence. So pay attention to it, and then we're gonna be uh, solving those exercises. Listen to a conversation between two friends, then check the best answers. <sighs> I don't get it, Chris. I'm really tired, but I'm still not sleeping well these days. That's too bad. Maybe you're staying up too late. Well, I usually watch the 11 o'clock news before I turn in, so I guess I am getting to bed pretty late. And what about caffeine? Have you been drinking coffee or tea after 5 o'clock? Hmm, I usually drink tea after dinner. Maybe it's keeping you up at night. I don't know. I feel drowsy when I go to bed, but I just can't fall asleep. And I know I'm tired because I exercise for an hour while I'm watching the news. Oh, that's it. You should probably exercise earlier. I read that some people perk up after they exercise vigorously. So it's not usually a good idea to exercise right before bed. You should finish exercising at least three hours before trying to go to sleep so that you have time to calm down first. Hmm, I've never heard that before. I guess it makes sense. So I should exercise earlier in the day and just relax after dinner? Yeah, just chill out in the evenings. Then you'll probably sleep like a log. Okay, very good. Well, the, what do you think about that conversation? Uh, I mean, the, the one that he said, uh, do you think that working, uh, working out uh, just before sleep, is it good or bad? What are the reasons you think that could be good or what are the reasons that you think uh, may be a uh, like bad idea? Actually, sometimes I, I make exercise uh, during the night. <clears throat> Sorry, and it's, it's really helpful to 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 rest for the rest of the night. Yeah. Okay. That means uh, that uh, it works when 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 you work out and for going to sleep. That means that you uh, sleep so relaxed and and, and and so you fall asleep uh, early. That's what you mean, sir. Yes, it's true because sometimes you you need to release the stress of the day. Okay, okay, okay. And someone else. The same thing hap happens to me. The uh, exercising before bed help help me to fall asleep, but I don't have problems falling asleep. So I think that's. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that okay, very good. Very, uh, that's a good comment. So the thing that he's saying that's not happen to all people. Those are just those are mean and uh, just uh, really cases that he's mentioning. Uh, okay, very good. That that that's good to know that. Um, in anyone here, um. Be, I mean, uh, workouts before going to bed, and he or she ha haven't uh, haven't fall asleep early. So what I mean is, if you have a uh, feel that experience that 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 he is mentioning, nobody, no, okay. Very good. So what we are going to do right now is go to answer the um, exercises for the second part. Uh, number one, we have the woman goes to bed, which could be the right answer for this sentence, for this statement. It's the second one, after the 11 o'clock news. After the 11 o'clock news. News. Okay, let's see what happened. Uh, second statement: The woman drinks tea, coffee, or milk. Tea. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, number three: uh, The woman normally exercises 
during the 11 o'clock news, early in the day, or at five o'clock? During the 11 o'clock. During the 11 o'clock news. During. Okay. Very good. So, and the number four, it says, uh, the man says that, no, I mean, the man says that you shouldn't exercise for three hours early in the morning, right before you go to bed. The last one, right before last you go one. to bed. Okay, right before you go to bed. Very good, let's send it and let's see what's the score. So here we have 20 of 20 points. So this is the exercise number one uh, that is about listening. In the second one, in the final test, we have the um, second exercise that it says combine sentences. Uh, the instruction says, combine the sentences using the, 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 the uh, I mean, defining and non-defining -de uh, related clauses. Uh, remember to use capital letters in periods. So in the number one, we have Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. What is the possible answer that you have for this uh, statement? Me, teacher? Okay, sir. So go ahead. Okay. Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus. Okay. Bulgaria is a, it's a small, small country. Country that, that is cheap to travel in by bus. Okay, in that way, right? Let's see, then we're going to check it. Number two, Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is a small city. Okay, number two. Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Uh, sorry, I didn't listen to you well because there was a light okay. in here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I said it again. Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot, period. Okay, in that way. Let's see the number three. Okay, my hometown is a popular tourist destination. My hometown gets pro in summer. Okay, someone else? Mr. Uh, let me see who, who are connected here. Uh, Mr. Hernandez. Good evening, Mr. Good evening, sir. Uh, in this case, it can be my hometown. Okay. Um, my hometown. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Yes, is a popular tourist destination. Okay, in that way, my hometown gets is a popular popular destination in summer. In summer. Okay. Well. Let's see the number three. Then we're going to check all those exercises, guys. Then we're going to be checking all the eggs. Uh, do you want to uh, do a change on, on it, sir? No, yes. Yes, no. Just let me know, please. I think not, right? Get grown. Run. Oh, okay, tell me. How to post is this sentence? How to post how we, uh, I mean, how, how we have to write this sentence in order to uh, have it right? Is that Hernandez? Okay, uh, someone else? Wants to help him? Maybe me, teacher? Okay, so, sir, tell me. Okay, my hometown, comma, comma. Which, is, which is a popular tourist destination. Which is, okay, which is a popular tourist destination. Okay. Comma. Tourist. Destination, comma, gets crowded in summer. Gets crowded. Crowds, thank you, in summer. And period. Summer and period at the end. Oh, uh, I have a mistype in here. Throw it. Okay, let's see uh, the number four. Someone? Someone else? Hi. Hi, okay. teacher. Hi. Istanbul. Okay. Has, comma. Which has great shopping, comma. Which? Has great shopping. Has great shopping. Come on. Is the home of the Grand Bazaar? Period. Here. Okay, there we have the part one. Let's check now the part number two. Uh, it, the instruction says, read the sentences, choose the correct order of modifier. So, in number one, how do we have to use this um, modifier, this adjective? Okay, guys? Uh, the first one, the first option, lovely coastal town. Okay, very good. Lovely coastal town. Number two, the same uh, instructions. The same instruction. Choose the correct order of modifier. Number like two. The number two. Okay, yes. big cities with skies proper. Yes. Okay, number three. Why mountain village? Okay, why mountain village? Number four. It says, I always love, which one? Number one. 
little college town. Number one, number two, uh, or little college town, college one. little towns. Little number college one. Town. Ah, little college town. Okay, very good. Uh, number six, I mean, number five, sorry, number five. When I travel, I'll try to avoid visiting. Number, number one, one. Number one. Expensive places. Expensive places. Okay, let's see. We're going to send it and let's see what happens. Well, we have a mistake here. Let me see where. This one. My Hampton. Okay. Why is wrong? Just help me to check this sentence. My Hampton. My Hampton with a popular tourist destination. Okay, popular tourist destination. Destination, comma. Comma. Gets. Gets. Crowded. Crowded. In summer. In summer. In summer. It's supposed to be right, right? My hometown. Oh, but in this in this one, I think it is a mistake here because it must be uh, we have to delete the space. I don't know if that's what is happening. No, it's it's not that. Okay. Um, can you help me with this? Can you identify the problem here? Because I think it's correct. My hometown, which is a popular tourist destination, gets crowded in summer. My hometown. The space between comma and little g, maybe. Without comma. Oh, okay, let's try without comma. No, no. Oh, I have a double space uh -huh. here. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Double space. Yes, that's a big problem with this. Let's see. There we have. And yes, that's right. That's that was the problem. This one, uh, Flores, uh, Florence. He, that's that was my mistake. Okay, Florence. Okay, is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Is it correct or wrong? What What do you think that this? Uh, what do you think? Could be the correct option for this exercise number two. Okay. Florence is a small city. Okay. That is Perfect. easy to navigate on foot. That is easy to navigate on foot. Mm -hmm. I wrote it in that way, it's but it, it's, it's showing me run. Let's see what happened again. Okay, there, it's correct. Very good. So, there we have the second part. Want to move to um, the part C. The instruction says, uh, read this sentence, then uh, complete the sentences with the following word. Just add the word in non each of scapular letters of periods. So uh, in this case, we, it's supposed that we have to identify there in each blank space the correct options. Can you, can you help me with it right now? Can you help me? Okay, shopping for the first one. Shopping, okay. Shopping. Number two. It's nightlife. Okay, nightlife. Nightlife. 
Number three. Climate. Okay. Number four. Green spaces. Green spaces. Green spaces. Number five. Cost, cost of, of living. living. Cost of living. Cost of living. Okay. Cost of living. Number six. Number six. Uh, the correct answer is transportation system, but the platform uh, only admits System. system, yeah. Yes, in, in one class, I remember uh, you say that correct. Yeah, answers. yeah, that's right. The, the problem here is that uh, the answer um, is wrong according to the platform because it must be transportation system. And transportation is missed. Uh, okay. There, okay. Thank you. Number part two, it says read the sentences, then complete the sentences uh, with the following phrasal verbs. It says just type the phrasal verb in, no capital letters or periods are needed. Okay, guys. Then we have there, you have the phrasal verbs. Can you, can you help me with it? We're out, okay. fall down, drop out, break. Up, and sleep. Turn out. in. Turn, turn in. in. Yes, number up. one, turn in. Number one is turn in. Very good. Number two. Calm down. Okay. You mean calm down? Calm down. I'm oh, sorry. In. Number three. Up. Sorry? Perk up. Ah, okay, perk up. Perk up. Number four. Sleep over. Sleep over. Sleep over. Leap over. In the number five. Number, number five. five. Drop, drop. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. And the number six. Burn out. Okay. Burn out let's check all of them if we have it correct or not yes all of them are correct very good then we're gonna see the exercise b exercise d the instruction says uh, choose the words that best complete each sentence In this case uh we have to work with with um the conditional sentences like as soon as uh, I mean a uh, time of expression. Sorry, I, I was confused. Uh, time of expression as soon as since after since on the while. The number one. What is the correct answer of it? As soon as. As soon as. Very good. Um, number two. After, after. or since. After. After. Number three, until After. a while. while. Uh, number four, right before or ever since? Right before. Very good. Number five, when it, whenever or after? Whenever. 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 Okay. Uh, Number six, I arrive at home. I, I mean, I arrive at work 
I stayed in front of my computer all day. What's the possible answer? From the moment. From the moment. Very good. The part two says, um, instructions. Match the sentences that um, have a foreign complete sentences. Uh, there we have, I can fall asleep easily, must, night, unless. What is the possible answer here? This is the fourth one. I start, I start thinking, thinking about problems at work. You have, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't listen to you. It's number four. Must be four. Okay. It's the number four. I start thinking about problems at work. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Uh, number two. Um, I, I sleep soundly all night as soon as, which one? It's dark in my room. Okay, it's dark in my room. Very good. Number three, I feel pretty good today, considering that. Considering that. I only got four hours of sleep last night. Oh, excellent. Very good. Number four, I keep a glass of water by my bed in case. I get thirsty at night. I get thirsty at night. Very good. Number six, um, I always go to bed at 10 p.m. even if. I don't have to get early the next day. Okay, very good. Let's see what's happening. Excellent, guys. Um, there you have, there you have uh, 19 over 20. Let's see what is the wrong answer and why. This one, it says, until eating breakfast, I watch the news on TV. The right answer must be why. Very good. Um, number, let's see the last part, number E, I mean, literal E. Uh, in this one, wanna be working on a reading. Um, in this part, we are going to do the following. Um, you are going to be discussing in trios this information, and then um, you are going to bring me um, in few words, uh, you're going to read me a summary. So, what is this about? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, it's sure. Okay, so I will send you to the breakout rooms. And uh, if you have any question, just let me know, okay? See you in a moment. If you want, just please take a screenshot because it's gonna be better. I will uh, zoom, zoom it. Let's give me a second. Here and here. Okay, there you have. If you want, please just uh, take a screenshot to that uh, reading part. And then you are going to be discussing and choose one of you, one of the trio, that's going to be the one who will present uh, their summary. Okay, is it clear? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. So, um, just accept the invitation of the breakout room.
همین حسابی Hello Nestali, are you there? Hmm, okay, it's missing Nestali. Okay, Chimay is only second or should he can explore ancient temples? Okay, Rachel. Uh, the first one I did so is I did so is the already paragraph, and after that I make the resume. Okay. And finally, explain to the teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, for uh, the first one, the first one uh, paragraph say, "Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand, second largest city." Here you can explore ancient temples, colorful market, market sorry, and history mm -hmm. architecture. Chiang Mai had the charm, turn off, and all mountain town with all the convenience of a modern cultural center. It is a great nightlife and hotels for every budget. Okay. Chiang Mai, which is located on the Ping River and near, to, and near the mountains, is also a wonderful place for an outdoor adventure. You can trek through the mountains where you will see breathtaking scenery and interact with local hill tribe people. Or you can go on a tour of the areas made clan waterfalls not far outside the city. The cold season of December to February is when many people choose to visit Chiang Mai. February is when the famous flower festival is held and the world city is an island with flower boxes. Isn't it, is, is it, is, is it not to the miss it? There is there's, a song, okay, let's okay. continue. <laughs> there is something for everyone in Chiang Mai. Plan your trip today. Okay. Uh, the I think so. The climate to the this place is uh, wonderful mm -hmm. because hot summer and spring too. Yes. Because uh, the program says uh, the it's a festival flowers. Yes, it is. And mm -hmm. the first one, the first one says it's a nightlife too. Yes, and also mention the architecture yes yes it is it's yeah. the, it. uh, on the other hand the place had to the to architects 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 uh -huh. uh -huh. the old the old one and the new one the modern cultural center ah, okay it's a it's a, a, a i think so it's a, a, a no recuerdo la palabra. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice la, un lugar moderno? Um, se me escapa. Es a modern. A modern place. I, or... No, I don't have the, the, the word. <laughs> Sorry. Ok. What do you think about this place? Yeah, I think maybe it's like, like, how can I say? Que hay como para todos los gustos. 
uh, of the sky, on the sky, uh, adventure or something to do? Yes, yes. Um, uh, right, right now, uh, I find the uh, uh, Google. What do mm -hmm. you say this word? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I don't got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's continue with the, the class. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just saw, I just saw uh, Chiang Mai is near to the big river because I think so is between to the mountain because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a one river is uh, obviously had to mountain. Yes. Because the river is a, a one place to the oh, also yeah, on the wrong and the wrong water. Yes. And the people uh, had to the adventure outdoor. Uh, uh, on the other hand, the people had to the different activities outside this place. Outside this place, yes. How can I say paisajes? Um, sorry, I don't know. Places? Places, yes. And the, I think so? Yes, I guess. In the wonderful, uh, the wonderful activities in this place is on December to the February. Yes, because they have the, the like some festival. Yes, it is famous. But I, I, but I don't know. I did so in my life. I, I never go to the place. <laughs> yes, me neither. Only watch the video on YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, what else, what else had to the place? What, I'm sorry? Uh, what else uh, I put to the place with the class? With this place? Yes. Mm, maybe we can mention uh, this festival that is the most beautiful and famous in the city. Mm, yes, that's why. Mm -hmm. mm, I find something worth you can go on tour in areas waterfalls. Mm -hmm. I don't know waterfalls. Let me go to the text later. Okay. Do you know? Or do you know? Uh, I'm what sorry, are waterfalls? what? Waterfalls. Uh, waterfalls are like cascadas. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's an amazing place because it had a river, mountain, waterfalls, architecture. Architecture, yes. Architecture. In ancient templates. Yes, in festivals. Okay, make make a list. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I'm uh, doing uh, like like a little resume. Maybe maybe the people is friendly because it's a beautiful place. And mm -hmm. I hope the the dint or the food is a very cheap too. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> I guess it is. Okay. First, my hands. Next, our work. This is the everything.
Okay, guys. Um, please just uh, tell me what do you find there. Uh, I, I told you. I remember that I told you uh, to choose someone for each group. Uh, I don't know who are the winners. Who are the winners? Who are the ones that uh, are going to participate? I'm going to start, teacher. Okay, sir. So go ahead. I was taking the, the reading and uh, reading about Chiang Mai, uh, the second largest city in Thailand. I think that Bangkok is the first one. And say the reading said that there's a lot of architecture to take in consideration in the city. Uh, for example, an ancient temples. And you can, you can also take a, a, a trip to the old mountain and go to a more, a more a cultural center. And there is a great nightlife in the, in the city. And there's a, a lot of hotels for every budget, I think that from affordable hotels and the uh, expensive hotels. And Chiang Mai is located near to the near to the mountains, the mountains and the Pink River. I think that this will be great. Take a look at the landscape in the, in the mountains. And also there is a great, a great place to visit is uh, Mai Clan waterfalls, not too far of the city. And the cool season for the town is from December to February, and there's a flowers festival in the city. And a lot of people go to the festival and have, a, have fun during the season. Okay, very good. And Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Um, let's see. Someone else? Hey, teacher. Okay, Miss Gomez. So go ahead. Um, in the paragraph, they talk about the historic architecture, also the modern cultural center. Also, they mention uh, they have like an outdoor adventure and beautiful scenarios like mountains, rivers, and waterfalls. And also, they mention a flower festival that is the most beautiful and famous in the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Thomas. Uh, let's see, uh, someone else? Okay, the last one. There is just one group less. There were just three groups, three different rooms. Who are the last ones? Uh, Ms. Gildamez, ah, okay. So tell me. Maria and Carlos, but, but I can manage to read the, <laughs> I can manage to read the, the thing in the in the WhatsApp group <laughs> and continue in the in the session. I don't know how to do this. Let me try. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. No. Uh, okay. 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 With uh, Sheng, Sheng, Mai, Sheng Mai is the second largest Thailand city where you can explore ancient temples, colorful market, and historic architecture. Mm -hmm. It mixes the convenience. It has it has a great nightlife and hotels for every budget. Uh, Chiang Mai is located on the Pink River. It is a, a wonderful taking it. Okay. Interact with the native or go on a that's our person. <laughs> okay, very good. <clears throat> very, very good. So um guys, that's mean uh the end of this uh course. So today we'll finish 
um, the course advanced one. So, and, and all of you, the ones that have developed all the exercises and has been attending um, this video conference, so you are ready for uh, taking the course advanced two. Um, as you know, the um, English Corporativo sent you uh, the link for inscriptions uh, some time ago. And they are reviewing, I don't know if, if you received uh, the, the, an email confirming all the information. If not, so don't worry because they are reviewing uh, the information yet because you are a lot of, um, a lot of, there are a lot of students that may uh, have sent in uh, that information too. So uh, guys, well, I have to say uh, good, goodbye now. And maybe in the future, when I see, uh, I will see you again, and I will have the opportunity to be working with you. Uh, believe me, this, this has been an amazing experience uh, for me. And, and I think that, um, you, all of you, has been so dedicated with um, all the exercises that are posted in the platform. And, and, and I see that all of you, the ones that are here, um, has been working so hard in order to complete and achieve the 80% of the uh, video, I mean, the, the, the exercises that you have there in English Corporativo, in, in the platform of, of English Corporativo. So, guys, I have to say uh, good night and um, I hope to see you um, again in the future. Okay? So bye-bye. Blessing for a lot of you and keep working, keep practicing in, on, 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 in English because this is a beautiful language and, and that's a big steps that you're taking here. Um, I, I know that all of you can manage English because all of you can speak in, in English and that's amazing because that's open a lot of opportunities to you in the future, uh, or if you want to apply to a different job, I know that some of you are working right now, that's uh, maybe that can help you in the future. So guys, uh, thanks for all and blessings. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank, thank thanks Take to care. you. Take care, blessing, blessing. Good night. Good night, Good night to everyone. Night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye.